Hello everyone, it's me Sato again from Low Level Cosplay and today we are back with a new part of the Vash Cosplay series and in this part I'm going to show you how he made his holster for his gun and his pants. And if you don't want to miss any of this content in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And without further ado, let's do it. So let's begin with the holster and for this I used the pattern from my Dante Cosplay as a base. After changing the pattern a bit so it fits my needs, I traced it on on some leathers and cut it out. Now that I have this big leather piece, I started wet forming it with some warm water. To make sure that the edges line up correctly, I'll use these small sewing clamps to hold everything in place. And then I can work again on the wet forming. After some drying time I can mark all the spots that needed to be cut shorter for a better look. Now that the leather is cut to the desired shape, I do a last pass of wet forming. In the next step I use this hole punch to make some holes for sewing. And this is how it looks so far. Before I can finish this main holster piece I need to make a belt for attachment and this is a rough pattern. I already cut it out from some colored leather and punched some holes in it for attachment and details. This small strip is just a decorative belt on top of it. So now that I got all the parts that I wanted, every uncolored piece will be painted in a dark brown. In the meantime, while the paint is drying, I attach the small pieces together with some rivets. This is a small strip that goes around the leg. Now starts the fun part by sewing everything together by hand. There are many tutorials for this outset but in general you just need this thick leather waxed yarn and two needles. The 
The same process is repeated to attach the holster to the belt. After this is done, everything gets a black wash and will be treated with sandpaper in the end. Now we begin with the pants and these are the patterns that I made from my basic pants pattern. Then everything will be traced on some fabric and fox leather and cut it out. The fabric will be treated with the overlock. We start as always with the front by sewing these two pieces together. And remember, don't forget the top stitch! In the next step, we will attach the small strip and below that, this long leg piece. Don't forget to repeat and mirror each step and this is the finished front leg. For the back side we also start with these two top pieces. After this is done, we sew this small strip of leather on. The longer leg piece below the strip is a bit more complicated due to these two details on the side. And with that the back leg is also done and can be sewn together on the sides with the front leg. For sewing the legs together and the zipper in, just watch my last video, it will be explained in detail there. After the zipper is in, we close the bottom seam. Now it's time to make the waistband. These four pieces will form the back pieces and the next four are for the front. Now sew the front and back together. In the end you should have a long strip, this step will be repeated one more time because you need two of them in the end. Both will be sewn together on the top. We 
Before we sew the waistband on, we attach the belt loops. It's finally time to sew the waistband on and just do it like I show you here. To sew the front correctly, sew it on the front edge upwards. The pin needle show you better the location where you have to sew. Just cut the overhang away. Then turn everything inside out and use a top stitch all the way around. Now that the waistband is on, sew the belt loops on top. The leg on the bottom will get folded two times and you guessed right, it will get a top stitch. In the final step I will attach the decorative belts on the top leg and the sh uh, shin guard is just a spacer so I am now correctly where it goes. And every belt will be wrapped around uh, several times and attached with the rivet. The same step will be repeated for the other leg as well. And it's now time for the final review.
So this was a tutorial and it's not good, but it's okay in my opinion. And if you want, you can leave a comment below what you like, what you dislike, what I can improve or just chatting. Otherwise, I also have social media uh, if you have any specific questions. And don't forget to give this video maybe a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you're inter interested or want to make a Vash cosplay in the near future. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot. And keeps this channel growing and it uh, shows me that I don't waste my time doing these videos. And until then, see you next time. Have a great day, love and peace, and I'm out.